It's so much fun to have you in the studio here to find out that because uh, you're you, you're not, dude, you're not Hollywood. I mean, even though you're oh, descended I'm pretty from Hollywood, you're you're pretty well. Listen, you're you're definitely descended East from Hollywood. East Hollywood, yeah. East Hollywood. I mean, your dad, Donald, uh, your mom was an actress also. Yeah. And uh, and his mom, who apparently is the toughest lady ever. I'm mean, explaining to him, we're, we're discuss- we discussed animals a lot last night. Yeah. I told you about Henry, the world's meanest bird. Oh, the, your parrot. Yeah. Your parrot. You got it. You need to do a whole series on your bird. <laughs> He's got anger issues. Keep this this bird. The way, he, uh, <laughs> just for all of you out there, the way he described this bird was this put the mean movement backwards. <laughs> this bird is so mean that when this bird actually goes away, yeah. when he dies, it'll be a sad day. Uh, the anger movement will have have lost a friend. <laughs> And when you when you when you describe him that that he plucked himself naked, <laughs> he, he he was so angry that he tore out all his feathers because he wasn't getting enough attention. Yeah, or I know, I know. It's just hysterical. Yeah, but then on the other hand, I bought him. I, I spent a fifty or hundred dollars a month buying him a little vest to protect him. But uh, Kiefer's... Well, and, the, and the and the guy who gave him to you gave him to you for free. He said, <laughs> I, "This is this is a story you, you have to kind of film." I, I want to make a short story about it. <laughs> about it, that you can actually go into a pet shop and the guy actually looks at you and says, "If you take this bird home, I'll give you a free cage, food for a month, and just <laughs> it's a true what, story." Whatever, Danny did, dude. Danny what, Waldo what, Pets. Whatever, whatever you want, man. I just take this bird off my hands, and you were stupid enough to do it sixteen years ago. <laughs> but you know, because your mom came in and she had a parrot, right? When you yeah. guys, were you guys, his mother had left the, the, where you guys were living at the time. Well, we were we were your in, babies. We were in London. We were in London, England, and my mother had this parrot for about eight years. And uh, and she and my older brother had gone to the market, and she had forgotten something, thank God. And she came back in, and the parrot was in our crib. And me and my sister were only like six or seven months old. And the parrot was trying to poke our eyes out <gasps> and trying to kill us. And we learned a very quick lesson about how tough our mother was. She grabbed that parrot, who was her favorite thing, and she broke its neck in like two seconds. Oh my <laughs> God. Its neck. She just she grabbed it by the head and spun it around like a like a chicken. You know, yeah, and just <laughs> did it right there. And me and my sister were only six months old. My brother tells the story really well, uh, but I think even me, me and my sister, our eyes kind of widened up and went, "Okay, this is not a lady you can screw around with." <laughs> <laughs>